there's a singer called Lloyd, and she has a song called Royals. Mm -hmm. And in it, she alludes to financial freedom as being gold teeth, gray goose, tripping in the bathroom, <laughs> ball gowns, trash in the hotel room, Cadillacs in your dreams, Cristal, Maybach, diamonds on your timepiece, jet planes, islands, tigers on a gold lease. <laughs> Now, unless you're Kim Kardashian or LeBron James, that is not what I mean by financial freedom. <laughs> I'm not talking about wealth. I'm not talking about riches. I'm not even talking about sustainable income or generation generational income or old money like the Rockefellers. But don't be dismayed if that is your goal because financial freedom is the first step to wealth and riches. So what is financial freedom? Financial freedom is having your investments and assets generate enough passive income to cover your current lifestyle without having to work for money. It's having the money to pay all your expenses even if you were to suddenly lose your job. And financial freedom is being able to enjoy your current lifestyle as it is right now, today. Now, most of us were not born with a silver spoon in our mouths, so we have to work for money. And if we don't want to work for money and we want a decent lifestyle, then we have to generate what is called passive income. So let's talk a little bit about passive income. What is passive income? Passive income is money that you earn without having to be actively involved in the endeavor. You earn passive income while you're sleeping. You earn it while you're watching your favorite TV program. You work, earn it while you're entertaining yourself. The fact is, your money is working for you, and you did nothing actively to earn the money. Now, I don't know about you, but passive income is my favorite type of income. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to give you a few examples of how you can generate passive income. Does anyone in here have real estate that produces income on a monthly basis? Maybe you own a home or a, a condo, and someone's living in your home, I mean living in there, and they're paying you rent every month. Is there anyone in here who does that? That's passive income. Anyone in here retired and receives a pension? That's passive income. Anyone getting annuities or dividends on stocks and bonds? Passive income. Then maybe someone in here has written a book and has, are, is receiving royalties on that book. That's passive income. Now, I know some people in here have websites, and on their website they have an affiliate link. And when someone clicks on that link and they purchase a product or service using that affiliate link, you have just earned passive income. And then we have cash flow from businesses that don't require our direct involvement. Maybe you own a Subway or McDonald's or something. That's passive income if you're not working with it. So what are the benefits of passive income? Having enough passive income leads back to financial freedom. And financial freedom gives you a choice. You can continue to work for money, or you can work part-time, or you can work sometime, or you can let your money go to work and earn a paycheck for you. You can let your investments and assets work to create the passive income for you each and every month so that you can stay home with your kids or grandkids, spend more time with friends, volunteer, travel, or doing anything that you are passionate about. The bottom line is that passive income helps you to build the financial freedom you need to live your life on your own terms. Now, how much passive income do we need per month. Well, you can do something like cal calculate your financial freedom number. And your financial freedom number is simply the sum total of your monthly expenses. It's what it takes to run your household each and every month. 
It includes things like your mortgage, your rent, your electric bill, your smartphone, your Netflix bill. Anything, uh, your expenses for the month is your financial freedom number. And a way to get a really good financial freedom number is to keep track of your the last four to six months of your expenses, and that'll help you to build a solid understanding of where your money is going. And then you want to average out that time period, and that's how you come up with your financial freedom number. Remember, this is the amount of passive income you need to bring into your household each and every month to maintain your current lifestyle without working. So a few things you want to do, again, you want to track the things you do and the money you spend every month. Don't leave anything out, and don't forget your quarterly and annual bills, because not all bills you might pay on a monthly basis. Now, I know some people are sitting there and you're thinking about your expenses and you're like, I'm going to need a whole lot of passive income to keep living the life that I've grown accustomed to. But remember, we're, we're all at different phases of our life. Some people may have kids at home, so when do you want to be financially free? Maybe that's not fit until 15 to 20 years from now. So your financial freedom number is going to shrink. But what can you do right now to reduce your financial freedom number? Number one, get out of debt. That's right. That's right. Debt is just the killer of dreams. It makes you do things you don't want to do. I want you to imagine that if the only debt you had was your mortgage or your rent, how much extra money would you have so that you could invest and create passive income? And eventually, yes, you want to pay off your house as well. The next thing you can do, live below your means. Just because the mortgage lender says you can afford this much house doesn't mean you can't buy this much house. Yeah. I think everybody in here probably knows Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. Warren Buffett Still in the same is a billionaire. Place. Warren Buffett brought a house in 1958 for a little over $31,000. Warren Buffett lives in that house today. Wow. Wow. Warren Buffett says he doesn't need a mansion. He doesn't need more house. He doesn't need more room. Warren Buffett keeps his cars for years. Now, Warren Buffett might be a little bit on the extreme. <laughs> but <laughs> I think you understand where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing you can do is you can lower your expenses. I read somewhere that people spend about 30% of their income on entertainment. You can reduce that number. Maybe you don't dine out as much or you don't, you know, drink as much coffee as Starbucks. I don't know how people afford Starbucks, but anyway. <laughs> so that's uh, some things you can do to help to reduce your financial freedom number. And then a couple of other financial uh, things you can do. You want to create that budget so that you know where your money's going. You want to save, save, save. And if your company offers a retirement plan, you want to invest in that retirement plan, 401k, 403bs, and especially if your company offers a match yeah. on a percentage of the amount of money that you put in or a dollar amount, at least put in enough money to get that match. That is free money. Right. We don't leave free money on the table. <clears throat> and then once you have your emergency fund, you want to start investing outside of your retirement account because the name of the game is creating passive income. That's how you're going to become free. Now, achieving financial freedom is simple, but it's not easy. It's not going to happen by chance. You've got to work at it. And achieving financial freedom requires discipline. It requires focus, patience, and most of all, it requires investing in things that generate more money, like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, rental income. So before I close, I want to say if anyone here has not filled out your cash flow strategies, fill out your cash flow strategies. It's going to map you a strategy to reach a million dollars. And maybe you don't think you'll reach a million dollars. But it doesn't matter if you start creating passive income today 
And as you can see, you might not need, not everyone needs a million dollars. That's right. We all live different types of life. So you want to fill out your cash flow strategies so that you can start creating passive income and hitting those numbers. So how would financial freedom change your life? I'll leave you with two thoughts. If you no longer had to work for money, what would you be doing right now in your personal life today? If you no longer had to work for money, what would you stop doing? Thank you. Wow. Yeah.